In this lesson, we are going to create a layout for our Next.js application. What we're going to do is to create a header like this, create main content, and a footer to show all right reserved. Let's go for it. Open your VS Code, and from Terminal menu, select New Terminal. Next step is going to be creating Next.js application. Type npx create next app and press enter it asks the project name let's set the name to next dash amazona you can set it to whatever you like and press enter next.js starts installing react react dom and next packages for you and after that it installs eslint and eslint config next so in the vs code extension make sure that you have eslint package here installed to use this the next step it says we suggest that you begin by typing this let's do that go to next dash amazona and instead of running this command what i'm gonna do is to open this folder in vs code to do that type code put an a space and put dot dot points to current folder and press enter it opens a new window click on yes i trust and in the left panel we have the folders of this project to run the project from terminal menu select new terminal and then run npm run dev to run the project in the correct folder you will get this message it says ready started server keep control and click on this link http column slash slash localhost column 3000 it's the link of our project great here is the result we have this message and it means that we successfully created our next.js project what we're gonna do is to convert this layout to the header main and footer that we have seen at the beginning of this lesson let's go for it we are going to use material ui framework for this project so we need to install it copy npm install material ui slash core and go to vs code here we need to click on plus icon while npm run dev is open click on plus icon and in a new terminal window paste that command and press enter good we successfully installed material ui go to package.json and make sure that in the dependency section we have material ui here your version may different it's not an issue next step is in the index.js what we see in the screen is coming from index.js in pages folder let's get rid of all content in the return section select all of them and delete what we're gonna return is just the dev and inside that put heading one products and create a ul to show product one two and three let's check the result yes products product one two and three Next step is gonna be adding a header and footer to this. I'm not going to add header at this point because I'm going to use the header in other pages. So I need to create a component and use that in the home screen. To create a component, click on File Explorer and click on this icon, New Folder, set folder name to Components right click on components click new file and set file name to layout.js here we are going to create a react component type rfc and select react functional component code a snippet press tab to create layout component what we're gonna do here is to set the title of this page create head element head is coming from next slash head it's a built-in component from next.js let's import it import head 
from next slash head. Be careful about uppercase and lowercase. They are case sensitive. Save it. In the head section, what I'm going to do is to set the title for this project. If we check here, there is no title. Set title to next Amazona and save it. After that, it's time to use the first component from Material UI. It's app bar. Type app bar and set position of app bar to static and close it. We need to import app bar from Material UI. Let's go for it. Import app bar from at sign Material UI slash core and save it. After app bar, it's time to use toolbar from Material UI. Let's import it like app bar. And inside toolbar, we are going to show Amazona. Enter Amazona. To show text in Material UI based project, we use typography component. And inside that, enter text like Amazona. Let's import typography from Material UI too. That's it about header section. Let's go for the main section. For the main section, I'm going to use container component from Material UI. Let's import it from Material UI. And inside container, I'm going to render the content that this layout component will be used. To do that, inside curly bracket, enter children, and children is coming from layout. In the layout, I'm going to deconstruct the parameter and get children from the parameter of layout function and use that children here. By having this code in the index.js, in the main page, I can wrap the whole content inside layout. Let's do that. Layout, select this one to auto import it from component slash layout. And inside this component, move the content of home page. Inside the layout, let's fix the typo. It's children, not this. And save it. Let's check the result. Nice. We have a header like Amazona and we have list of products. And, and the last step is going to be adding a footer at this point. Let's go for it. In the layout section, after the container, it's time to add footer, create footer. And inside footer, use typography and enter this message. All rights reserved next Amazona and save it. As you see, the text here is not in the right place. It should be in the footer and center aligned, but it stick to the content and it's left aligned. For the next lesson, we are going to add style to our Next.js application using material UI make style function. Until that lesson, bye-bye. To get the source code of this lesson, visit this link, github.com slash series slash next dash Amazona. And to see the all changes in the code, click on commits and select the lesson. This lesson is create next app layout. Click on it and you will see all code in this lesson.